Ash Easdale, how come we rarely see you make a mistake, man? Like I've watched hundreds of hours of these streams and I've seen about three. <laughs> Even then, you incorporate the mistake into the freestyle. Uh, yeah, well, you said part of it right there. I make a lot of mistakes. Um, I'm just really good at covering my mistakes up or incorporating them into the freestyle in a clever way. I'm also really good at letting go of my mistakes while I'm freestyling and recommitting to the present moment. The thing is, one mistake can send you spiraling into a whole bunch of more mistakes because now you're all flustered about the one mistake that you made. So it's better if you make one mistake to let go of it as fast as possible. It's gone. It went out into the cosmos. It's going to dissipate into the atmosphere. It's going to blend in with the clouds. You never have to hear from that mistake again. So just let go of the mistake because when you're thinking about the mistake and dwelling on it, God, why did I make that mistake? You know what you're not doing? You're not focused on what you're doing right then in the moment. And so of course you're gonna make another mistake and another mistake. And then you're like, God, I suck. All I do is make mistakes. And that thought alone is what's causing you to make more mistakes. It's a really fucked up cycle. So you have to get good at letting go of your mistakes. Um, and the other thing though, or why you rarely see me make mistakes when I'm performing on stream or on Omegle or out there doing gorilla bars or eventually on stage, is because I have built out a considerable amount of headroom, which is something I've talked about in the past. Headroom meaning, you know, if you're in a car that can go 300 miles per hour, it's very easy to drive 80 miles per hour on the highway. However, if you're in a car that can only go 100 miles per hour, going 80 on the highway is very difficult for that car. You're almost at your limit. Um, so your engine has to work very, very hard to maintain that 80, whereas a car with a massive amount of headroom really has no problem going 80, right? So I practice consistently and I practice challenging things that I'm not yet able to do, right? I practice at the edge of my current ability um, so that I can develop a large amount of headroom, uh, which means for me to do a basic performance, incorporating words from a chat, for example, uh, is, is me driving at 80 miles per hour, right? And so I'll, I try to push it because I want my performances to be epic, right? I want to do the best that I can when I perform. So I'll push it up to 100, 120, 150. Maybe sometimes I'm, I'm going 200. I'm really going crazy and multi-syllabic and everything's lining up and it all makes sense and there's not much filler and it's great. As soon as I start to lose control of it and almost start to make a mistake and have to cover up, all I have to do is let off the gas and drop down to 100 or down to 80, right? And... 80 is still a professional level. It's still like a passable level of freestyling and incorporating words. It still sounds good, right? So that's why you don't hear me make that many mistakes is as soon as things start to go a little off course or I start to feel that it's getting a little too far ahead of what I'm going to be able to do, right? And I'm like, you know, because you can sense it while it's happening before like you actually make a fatal mistake or like say you know or have to go ah fuck you know which is fine too but before that happens you just feel it getting away from you a little bit and then you just simplify as soon as you feel things getting a little weird you simplify period that's it so that's why you don't hear me make that many mistakes is as i feel myself starting to make a mistake i simplify what i'm doing i bring it back to the basics right i let go of all the complex stuff and and i just do what i know i have embedded you know um yeah so there you go. And I make a ton of mistakes. If you only see me make three, uh, that's just a testament to how good I am at covering, covering up my mistakes, which is an important skill for, for improvisers.